According to Swim England, 95% of black adults in England don't swim and 80% of black children in the country have never been swimming, while only 2% of regular swimmers in England are black. Ed documented his own swimming journey in a short film and has now made a feature-length sequel exploring the reasons why so few black, Asian and minority ethnic people get in the pool. I'll be speaking to Ed in just a moment, but first, let's take a look at the film. I didn't want to swim because of my hair, but... <laughs> it's normal for us, isn't it? But, yeah, it's a, it's a whole lot different for a black woman. Mainly, like, the white girls, they're very, like, slim, they're really skinny. So you look and you think, OK, I don't look like that. You know, when you're black and, and you're in a situation with, with mostly white people, you already know all the ways that you're different. Ed, thank you for joining us. Congratulations on the film, which seems to be highlighting a really important issue. I mean, these statistics are quite shocking. What did you yes, discover yeah. is behind them? Um, there's, there's a number of reasons, including you probably heard about the hair, black women and the hair. There's reasons. But I personally think it goes down to priorities. If your parents don't swim, if, you're, if, you're, if your people around you do not swim, then you're not more likely not to swim. Um, if, if you don't see role models, if you don't see people looking like you in the pools, then you're not going to swim either. And as, you, as you've seen, as you have the figures, 95% of black adults and 80% of black children in England do not swim. Um, we don't know whether these uh, figures include people that can't swim or the, or they just don't swim. But either either way, it's, it's there's is a big issue. We need to get people start. We need to get people swimming, and um, and quickly. And where does this need to happen? You mentioned parents there and seeing people swim, but does this need to happen at school as well? Why aren't black children learning to swim in school? But yeah. Uh, so basically, the curric the, the curriculum. S states that swimming is part, you know, is part of the education system. But um, if the parents don't see it as a priority, then they will not tend send their children to um, learn how to swim before they start school. And we all know that um, I think parts of the, the curriculum states that the child has 25 lessons. That's not enough. Um, so the education system has something, you know, has to be reformed, but also like I keep on saying, the community has to see it as a priority. We need to we need to swim more. We need to take it. It's not just um, it's not just a recreational activity. It's a life skill, and it prevents drowning. Which is why we set up the Black Swimming Association as an organisation set up to highlight the importance of swimming within the community. Do you find some people think? I'm an adult, I haven't learnt to swim, it's going to be really tricky for me to do so now. And if so, what was your own experience like of learning to swim as an older person? Well, I, I, like I said, I, I hid behind the stereotypes, I hid behind the stigmas. I, hid, I, know, I, I did everything not to learn how to swim. And, um, it's, and the only reason why I did is because of my daughter. And I said to myself, if I ever was in a situation where my daughter fell into water, and I couldn't save her. I would never, I would never forgive myself. And that's the reason why I did it. It was difficult. Um, I haven't said this on. I haven't, I haven't said this publicly. But the first time I ever went into water to actually learn how to swim was at the end of a film called Black Can't Swim. So it, you know, it, it it was terrifying. So when you watch the film and you see my face, you know, that was not acting. That was actual real life fear. So it's, it's, yeah, of course it's terrifying, but it's something that has to be done. You talked about role models as well, and Alice Deering could be the first black Olympic swimmer for Team GB. Do you think seeing role models like that will help the younger generation as well? Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely, definitely. Because um, when, my, uh, when my daughter first met Alice, because Alice is, uh, is the co-founder of the Black Swimming Association, with myself, Seren, and Danielle. So when, when, when my daughter first met, um, she was like, oh, she was very excited because she's finally seen someone that looks like her that is swimming. So it, a role model is very, very, very important. What would your message be, Ed, to anyone now who is reluctant to swim but is thinking, I probably should give this a go? 
go for it. I mean, like I said, I'm, I, like you said, I'm, I'm, I'm at the age, I still started till I was 53 years old. It's, it's, an, it's, it's something that has to be done. You can save a life, you can save your life, you can save a child's life. You can say, you know, it's something that is very, very important. And also it has the benefits, the recreational benefits. It has the health benefits, the mental health, the physical health. And, and and such. So it's something that, you know, I, 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 I regardless of what age you are, is something to look, you know, that you should do. And um, to give you a bit of a push, just watch a film called Last Cancer Room and the sequel that is coming out uh, on May the 10th. All right. Edikara, thanks for joining us today and best of luck with the film.